Well, the Super Bowl less than a week away from today. Now, Ashley Kirkland is joining us live this morning to uh, get ready for that Super Bowl party with some pretty good eats. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. We made our way down to the landmark in Marquette, and you're right, the Super Bowl is less than a week away, and that's kind of become a big holiday here in America, and I know lots of folks are going to have parties and invite people over to their homes, or you may be carrying a dish to someone's home for Super Bowl. So we're going to be here at the landmark a, couple, a, a little bit later with one of the chefs. He's going to talk to us about making some delicious dishes like you see in front of me now. These are supposed to be really easy and simple to make, yet yeah, you can see they look very elegant and nice, and they also look kind of healthy so if you want to get away from the traditional chips and dips and maybe sandwiches and kind of fancy up your Super Bowl party you want to stay tuned make sure to stay tuned and look back to see what we have to cook here for in the, for you in the kitchen at the landmark uh, my favorite team is not in the Super Bowl Vicki but I'm still going to enjoy the game how about welcome you welcome back so it's 12 after the hour you're thinking Super Bowl Sunday just days away you've been hearing about the Velveeta shortage today what to do well I'll tell you what Ashley Kirkland joins us this morning at the Atlanta Landmark to give us some ideas on things that are Super Bowl dishes that may not include Velveeta. <laughs> Good morning, Ashley. <laughs> Good morning, Vicki. We're back here at the Landmark. You're right. There is a Velveeta shortage, but what we have here, you won't need Velveeta. So, and it's going to be a good game, so you want to make sure that you have good recipes and snacks for people to snack on at your house. Right now, I'm joined with Charlie, one of the chefs at the Landmark. He's going to talk to us a little bit more about what he has and how you can make it at home. Charlie, what's something that you have for us to make, for viewers to make at home for their party? Well, I'm going to take you guys on a rundown through, uh, this is a Reuben dip. This is a new popular item that we got going on here. Um, very, very simple. Simple. Um, got right here in the pan, we've got a little bit of cream cheese, um, some Thousand Island dressing, and some heavy cream. If you want to go ahead and give that a stir for me. Okay, I'll stir that. All of these ingredients are not anything unusual at all. They're all very easy to get at the grocery store. Right here, I've got a little bit of corned beef. Uh, we're just going to give it a little bit of a chop. Now, this is everything that's in a Reuben sandwich and a dip? Everything in a Reuben sandwich and a dip, and it's served with uh, some rye toast points, so it's all the whole package, all in right in one. So. Okay. Um, once What's you get the next step? All of this, once it gets down and melted in, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of our corned beef here. Just put it right on in um, to that. We're going to put a little bit of sauerkraut right into the middle here. And once uh, we get that up to a boil, um, get a little bit of a bubble on it, uh, we're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of Swiss cheese. Are there any measuring points or you just put in how much you want of each thing? Um, I, for me, I, it, a lot of things, uh, there's not really any real recipe. It's really how how you like it and how how you want to how you want it to taste and how you think everyone else will like it so it's there's no real recipe okay. um, and this is going to be the actual ending point what our Reuben dip will look like now for Super Bowl parties you have children adults and and men is this something that's going to appease all appetites I would say so yeah it's um like I tell everyone else that a lot of people ask me that same question you know I would just say you know introduce your kids to the things that they would find unusual you know at an early age and you know they'll go ahead and like it you know okay. in the end so and I see that speaking of kids and unusual dishes we have vegetables here tell us about what did you do to these vegetables these were uh, just lightly tossed in a little bit of olive oil um, taking a little bit of a lighter approach to cooking um, not everything needs bacon and butter but it's great stuff but um, <laughs> instead of just a traditional raw veggie dip um, things like that we've just tossed it up in a little bit of olive oil salt and pepper um, 350 degree oven just a few minutes and it'll get a nice dark color on the outside. Yeah. Um, put that with a little bit of pesto sauce and dip it right in and enjoy it. So. All right. And Very it kind of has has a grilled look to it. Kind of reminds you of being outdoors tailgating. Even though it's pretty cold outside, you can yeah. kind of get a little bit of that at your Super Bowl party. Um, and is there anything else that you can kind of mix in that's kid friendly for the kids to enjoy and eat? Um, a lot of these things, uh, yeah. I mean, substitute pesto sauce with you know ranch dressing. Kids like that stuff. Um, Got to have them eating their veggies. So. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be back a little bit later. And I know that Sean will be happy with the pesto sauce. Vicky, he told me he could brush his teeth with pesto. And the vegetables are actually really good. And I think kids, adults, all, all ages would like. So we'll be back with another dish. And we have your standard wings, which are essential for any Super Bowl or football party. And we'll be back to show you more about the sauces to go with those a little nice. bit later. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Marquette, TV6 News. Welcome back. Now, if you've got a gang coming to your home to watch the Super but you don't quite have the menu set, don't worry. TV6's Ashley Kirkland is live at the Landmark Inn with more Super Bowl ready recipes. Good morning, Ashley. 
Good morning, Sam. That's right. We're back here at the Landmark in Marquette, and we're talking about Super Bowl menu. Now, it's a holiday in America. It's becoming that, it seems, but it's a little different from traditional holiday dishes. You can kind of make up a medley of things to serve your guests when they come over for Super Bowl Sunday. And right now, I'm joined once again with one of the chefs here at the Landmark, Charlie, and he's been teaching us some recipes, simple recipes that you can do to serve to guests uh, at your Super Bowl party, and he's back with more. Charlie, now, in the last segment, we talked about this Reuben dip here and you kind of told us how to make it but this is not just you can make this kind of like with any of your favorite sandwiches yeah it's really it's just a take on whatever you really there's no real recipe um another one that we do here um that's pretty popular is uh, a philly dip um it's a take on a philly cheesesteak sandwich um the mag it's peppers onions and beef you know all together the magic ingredient behind any of those dips though is definitely cream cheese you know it's one of those simple things anybody can get it. it's cheap it's good um Another one was jalapeno popper dip, same thing. It's okay. all just easy. So it's kind of like an inside out sandwich. As you can see, I've already took it, taken a lot of uh, bites out of that dip because it was really good. So what's the next thing that you have to teach us? Uh, right next, uh, we're going to do these uh, little salami cornets. They're uh, very easy, very simple. Um, they're light. Um, it's filled with an herb cream cheese, um, a lot of Italian herbs in here. Um, we're just going to take toothpick. Anybody's got these laying around. Um, salami, just have Go on down to uh, your local uh, grocery store and have them get some of these and you take them and uh, just kind of roll it around your finger like that. Take a toothpick right on through the other side. And uh, right here I've got a piping bag. You can Again, you can make these at home. Just take a Ziploc bag, um, cut the snip the end off and just pipe it right in there and just give that little wow factor to your Super Bowl friends and have them enjoy it. It's good stuff. So. And what's the ingredients in the filling that you have there? Um, it's a little bit of basil, some oregano, um, parsley, and some granulated garlic, some salt and pepper. Just whip it up in your uh, your mixer, um, and just put them into your bag and pipe them right in. And of course, everyone's going to have wings at their Super Bowl party. Talk to us about how people can kind of mix and make up their own sauces. Uh, sauces, right here we've got a Chipotle barbecue. Um, that's uh, one that we do serve here at the restaurant. The other one is uh, a mild sauce. Um, take your favorite hot sauce, um, put it on the stove with uh, a, about a stick of butter um, and ketchup, actually. It cuts it out and smooths it out um, yeah. so you don't get the real too much punch. Um, All right. Well, thank you so much, Charlie. Everything here has been really tasty. Even the vegetables, they're really flavored, flavorful, and they're seasoned well. So if you want to uh, kind of kick up your spruce up your holiday Super Bowl party and make sure that your guests have a good time, definitely pay attention to some of the recipes here. I'll take it back to you, Sam. And are you gonna have? What are you gonna have at your Super Bowl party? <laughs> well, I'd, I'd like to have him over to maybe make some of that food for us. And if you happen to bring some back, uh, I know a newsroom who wouldn't complain. <laughs>